All right, welcome to e-learning, our first week. Um, I'm Ms. Lucas, I miss you guys, um, and U.S. government honors. Um, I hope you've been staying safe, and you and your family are healthy, and continue to practice those safe um, tactics so that hopefully maybe we can go back and our seniors can have some kind of a normal senior activities at the end of the year. Um, that's my, my big hope, but we'll see how that works. Um, of course, we're still scheduled to go back on the 15th, but with Trump's announcement the other day, who knows, it probably will extend to the end of the month, but we don't know for sure yet. All right, so I have prepared this little welcome um, video for us so that you could kind of get comfortable with what to expect in um, our class. And one of the biggest things is, you know, how to communicate because you're not coming into class and seeing your teachers. Um, and, you know, that's an easy way for us to, you know, come right in front of you and say, hey, you know, um, Susie, you know, you haven't turned this in yet. So, um, you know, Susie, do you need help with this? So communication is huge. Um, I am sitting by the computer on ESB from 9 a.m. to 9.30 every morning and from 2.30 to 3 o'clock every afternoon waiting for you to say, hey, help me. Hey, I have this question. Um, doesn't mean that's the only time you can ask questions. Anytime you can send an ESB message, just those are the two half hours that you will be guaranteed to get that back from me. Um, on ESB or you can go on remind.com. Um, a lot of you signed up for that already. And here's the code for the rest of you to be able to sign up on that so that you can text me. I pretty much always have my phone on or I have my watch and it'll send me a message when you text me. So um, be sure to do that anytime between 7.30 and 3.30. Now one big thing, you know, e-learning's new. It's new for me, um, it's new for probably a lot of y'all. Maybe my seniors, you took a virtual class already, obviously, probably, because it's a graduation requirement. But um, my goal for you by the end of Monday is to know each teacher's expectations for e-learning, know the due dates, you know, keep a calendar, keep a schedule, like on a piece of paper, write it out or, you know, do it in Word, um, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, have all seven subjects down the other column and type in all the due dates. You know, for us, you're too big, do I mean, everything's due on Friday. Pretty much. Um, I open up our lessons for the week on Monday and then I'll open up our quiz on Thursday. Um, very similar to what we've always done in class. I wanted to keep that as a norm from what we were used to all first quarter or third quarter with us. Another big thing just to remind you guys, keep keep some time to exercise. You know, that's again, go back to my watch. I love it, you know, like even standing up, making sure I take little breaks. Um, don't want to sit down all day. Keep yourself moving, go for a walk. You know, walk your dog, walk your younger sibling. Um, if you've got a pool, swim, do something to keep you active, not just sitting down in the house. Um, walk around the house if your parents don't let you go outside for understandable reasons. So for our class in U.S. Government Honors, you have to access Pearson Realize, which is through Clever. And I asked that in a poll question last week. Um, so let me stop sharing here for a second and make me bigger. And so this is clever. Um, I can't share the screen with you because I'm using that with this format I am on here now, but in clever, um, you log in with your student number at HCPS. So I'm gonna log in right now with that. And then your password is your same password that you use for EDSB, you know, logging in when we go into the computer lab, all of that, it's the same password. Make it real easy for y'all. So log in, this is clever, you log in, probably see an hour or two, at least one, because that will say T. Lucas page. And don't worry too much about that, but that is a class page that they give us. Um, and then when you scroll on down and find Pearson Realize, and it looks like this here, I put this same icon on the newsletter 
that I sent out to all parents and students. Um, and I also will um, put it in a, uh, a remind message. I haven't done that yet. You can click the little heart and then it pulls it up that app to the top so that because we're going to be using it every week. You might have some other classes that could use this activity and maybe do. Um, ours will probably be the last one or the only one on your list. It says U.S. Government Honors. Click on the little arrow. It'll drop down our textbook, Magruder's American Government Florida. And then um, it's going to, if the first time you access it, it'll have you go through some steps to customize what this looks like. So um, chose this image. You can choose from images. And then you'll see that in classes, the orange link here, orange red link, whatever color you see. Um, and it will say April 3rd due dates for US government honors. Click that. Then it pulls up all the activities. Um, these are not in the order that I want you to necessarily see it, um, but everything is there. So the first thing, if you look on our Edsby page, is for you to click on my story, Loretta Sanchez. And um, once you click on it, the video will start to play. When it plays to its entirety, it sends me a message saying, hey, you know what, Susie, watch the, the video you want to her to watch. Um, and for the link, let me share my screen. Oops, I want to share my Edsby here. Here we go. So here, I want to show you, you know, we're in every year, my sixth period or my fourth period, they look the same. So here in the journal entry, either here or in the center, this shows you our objective for this week, um, gives you the link to my lecture video that I have on YouTube. Um, this is the link to Clever, but this is what I wanted to show you. That's where I'm at looking at um, in Clever here. These red boxes and links are these particular pieces. So like I said, the first one up here says 3D model. I think it goes in alphabetical order. You want to go down to my story and that's the first thing you want to click. It's kind of the preview, kind of getting you settled into the lesson that we're doing. And um, I would suggest doing a couple of these a day and then come back to U.S. government again. You know, again, don't necessarily try to do it all in one day. You might get a little burnt out on government and we don't want that. We want you to um, take a look at this stuff because we're into the three branches. It's interesting stuff. Um, a couple other things to show you here is, so these are the assignments that you have to do. You'll see them on your top right hand side here. Also, when you go into your feed tab in the middle, um, they're there as well. And you have the blue submit button here. When you click on that button, it pulls up, which is probably still really slow, but it'll pull up the assignment in a larger screen and it will give you the option to submit your work. Um, this is where you're going to turn in your work. Um, we have two assignments that you turn in through Edsby. And here is the copy for you to see it. Download this, this is the vocabulary, just like we do our vocabulary charts once a, once a unit. I'm now having us do it once a week. So it'll be much smaller. We're not doing pictures anymore, um, as this all says. And then when you are ready to submit it, you will hit this little button right here, browse your computer, upload the Word document or a PDF document, either way. And you don't need to write a comment and you just hit the submit button here and it sends it right to me. When you do submit one, I, if I'm not mistaken, it says resubmit there and you can resubmit it if you made a mistake and sent the wrong document. But that's what's nice because it shows you when you click on our class right here this week, all the items that you need to turn in. And again, I will give you one of these journal entries, which you can also see on the right hand column here, everything that you need to do there as well. Our library has all the documents as well, plus some older stuff there, I kept all the vocabularies in there. So you guys can keep going back and look at everything in case we have to do a final exam. So, let me go back to our PowerPoint. 
I think that was the last thing I wanted to say. And that we have the Thursday EDSB quiz, um, just like we've done in class with the notebooks. Um, just like the blue submit buttons were there, one will say take a test, take test. You click on that. One a big important thing is that when you take the test, it is going to be timed. So once you start it, you don't want to stop it um, because the timer keeps going. Um, each question will pop up. I will tell you in the very beginning exactly how many questions you have to answer and your time limit there. So you know if um, mom said, hey, you need to you know, help out with little Susie, then you know, don't start the test. Do it when you know you have that amount of time that you can just stop and schedule and do it at that point in time. <coughs> um, and then all of our assignments are due at noon and you have until midnight on Friday to take your quiz once it opens on Thursday. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And you guys keep staying safe and we'll talk with you again soon.